minutes. Uh, my name is Patrick Bond. I'm the director of the Center for Civil Society. Uh, and we really are very happy that this is the, the Harold Rolpe Trust and, as you see, Muslim Views, uh, the great newspaper based in Cape Town, its 20th anniversary, uh, providing us uh, the uh, opportunity to listen to one of the truly great anti-war, anti-imperialist uh, speakers and activists and legislators uh, of our time. Uh, in order to get things rolling and to not lose any time when George Galloway does speak, I'm going to ask Ansel and Iyer, who's going to be our chair this evening, and uh, Professor Dennis Brutus, uh, who is a visiting scholar with the Center for Civil Society, and also has just recently been a member of the Bush War Crimes Commission. This is not a commission set up by George Bush, a commission set up by his opponents in the United States. And I'd ask you to come to the stage and we could ask, uh, in fact, Dennis to give us some background uh, to the sort of struggles globally against the war in Iraq, the Israeli war on Lebanon, the Israeli war on Palestine. Dennis Brutus will, will join us. And just uh, before we get going, um, I'll mention two other things. Uh, you've just uh, witnessed a very important um, movie which we're happy to provide to anybody for free. Uh, it comes from something called Indie Media. And for those of you impressed, maybe it's the first time you've seen Amy Goodman. She does try uh, to make the United States audience as conscientized as possible. And we're hoping that Amy Goodman will be a visitor to the center uh, in the next year or so. And if anyone's interested in hearing Democracy Now! on your internet, viewing it, you can actually see it every day, www.democracynow.org. And Indie Media, which is a network of independent progressive outlets, we even have one in Durban uh, led by Faith Kamanzi. Uh, Indie Media is also um, available on the internet there's a South Africa version, southafrica.indymedia.org, and there's also www.indymedia.org. Of course, there's also georgegalloway.com, www.georgegalloway.com, for those of you who are internet fundies. And finally, before I turn over to uh, our uh, chair and our introducer, Dennis Brutus, um, I'll just mention that outside in the foyer, and we will have a, a, a complimentary supper tonight, it is halal, uh, so you'll have a chance to view books that are in the foyer as well, set up by um, Adam's Books. One of the books uh, for sale, and we're amazingly lucky to have efficient um, systems of display, is uh, George Galloway's new book, Fidel. Um, actually, there is a copy there. Um, maybe I can ask Shannon to hold up the copy of the book, Fidel. And amazingly, we have 10 copies for sale. It came out about a month ago in London. And amazingly, they're autographed by George Galloway. So they're the only 10 copies in the country, and they're for sale at the Adams stall just in the foyer. So please buy those to show support for George Galloway. Over to Ansel and I, who's going to introduce Dennis Brutus. Dennis Brutus will also be then telling us about the Bush War Crimes Tribunal. And when uh, George Galloway arrives, we'll be having Dennis introduce his old friend. Ansel and I are one of our fellows at the Center for Civil Society. And again, thank you for coming. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. It's the last war pay for 2006, and it's a great honor and a privilege to have George Galloway with us tonight. George is internationally renowned for his high-profile political campaigning, his great skills at oratory, his activism. And I have to tell you, George also has the distinction of being the only Big Brother contestant to ever do a war pay lecture. Um, so I think Howard College will never quite have this distinction again. So um, if George were here, I'd say welcome. Um, welcome to Durban. Um, and um, we're very pleased to have him here. And so what I'd like to do now is ask Dennis Brutus, um, who's our veteran political campaigner, to do a bit of an introduction for us. Dennis? Salam alaikum. And welcome uh, to all of you. We're very pleased to have you here tonight, especially since it is a very special occasion in several ways. Later on, we'll have uh, George Galloway, a charismatic, brilliant speaker. So I'll talk about him a little later, 
Right now I want to focus on two things. It is, as some of you are aware, the celebration of the 20th anniversary of a newspaper in Cape Town, Muslim Views, which has done a great job in informing the community and in giving information that you would not get from the mainstream media. So this is for us a reason to celebrate the role of the media in providing the information which is not otherwise provided. Then of course you saw a wonderful video with a, of a good friend with whom I have worked in the United States, a marvelous journalist, uh, Amy Goodman, who runs a station called Democracy Now!, which is paid for by the public, by the community. This is not any corporate funded uh, TV station, nor is it funded, in fact, by taxpayers who are trying to get uh, tax deductions. Pennies and cents and dollars are paid by people contributing to keep democracy now, which is doing a great job in the United States in the same way that Al Jazeera has been doing internationally in informing people on the truth of what is happening in Iraq. Let me spend just a couple of minutes on a somewhat different subject, or Patrick Bond has mentioned that I served in the United States while I was there as a professor, I'm now retired from the University of Pittsburgh. I served with other lawyers, other activists on a very important commission, which was called the Bush Commission for Crimes Against Humanity. And we assembled witnesses who came from all over. Some of them came from Washington, D.C. Some of the top lawyers in the country, including uh, Michael Ratner and Peter Weiss, two of the most distinguished international lawyers in America. Plus, prisoners who had been in Guantanamo prison and others that had been in Abu Ghraib, they reported on their experience. And then most importantly, we got the Brigadier General called Janusz Kapinski, who was the commander of the prison, first in Guantanamo and then in Abu Ghraib, who had resigned in protest at what was happening in the prisons. We have all that testimony on video. We're going to make it available so that people who wish to see it will be able to see it. But the striking thing, as I'm sure, sure you saw with Amy Goodman, is that there are people in the United States who are determined that the truth should come out. Even while most of the rich and powerful media are refusing to carry the true stories about what is happening in Iraq and in Afghanistan and even about people being arrested at protests in the United States. It is independent stations like Democracy Now! 